A little girl is eagerly awaiting a delivery of flowers from this ball-riding clown, and it's up to you to guide him to her. Assign the four commands, jump a square, go forwards, turn right, turn left, to the four animal symbols to plot the clown's route. Can you help the clown deliver the flowers without falling off the platform? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Get the clown to the other side. Ah, I see. Okay, so it must be to the first icon it runs into. For example, this right turn will be a right turn at the first cat symbol, which I can see. Unless it assigns it to every animal. Let's see, right turn, right turn, right turn. Which means I need the bear. I need the bear to go straight. I need the elephant to turn right. Turn right, turn right. This might work? Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Right. Straight. Left. Left, straight. Right. Right. Oh god, I thought it failed! I thought it failed just there! This was quite the conundrum. And there we have it. Awesome! You're no clown. The commands need to be assigned as follows. Oh, I love this song. And I'll I'll hear it a lot once I replay um Curious Village. Uh, Carriages of Justice. Very exciting name. We had this case a while back, where three fugitives were trying to escape on board a train. They each got into different carriages, but none of them hid in the first or last one. When we boarded the train in pursuit, the plan was to trap them by having a man in each carriage where, where a fugitive was hiding as well as in the carriages, on either side. In the end, the team we needed was the smallest it could possibly have been. Okay. What of a train? Uh, hold on a second. Three fugitives. Different carriages. Not none of them in the first or last one. Ah. See the interesting thing here is Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. Hmm. This is interesting because they don't specify the number of train cars. So I think it's going to be either three or five, simply because you want at least three. Well, the, the smallest number they have is three, but three because you want... One on both outer edges. Hmm. I'm making a lot of assumptions here. Either three or five. Let me try three first. Okay, Emmy, time to shine. Oh, bother. Think about which carriages the criminals may have been hiding in. Not sure how that helps me, because you, you're still not telling me how many train cars there are. Want an answer? How's this? Piece of cake. 
only five officers were needed to ensure the fugitives had nowhere to run. Maybe those crooks should have spread themselves out a bit more. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go with shopping spree. After saving up her pennies for a whole year, this woman went on an enormous shopping spree. Starting at the supermarket entrance, she made her way around the shelves, picking up 14 items in total, and spending every last penny of the 5,000 she had brought with her. She didn't visit any shelf more than once, and she didn't buy any fish or mushrooms. What route did she take around the supermarket? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Starting at the entrance. 14 items. 5,000. No fish or mushrooms. Okay. No fish or mushrooms? I don't even see fish or mush- oh, mushrooms. Where's the fish? Oh, fish. So there's 5,000. And? No route more than once. Okay. What was that? What was that sound? Okay, so we're, it looks like we're gonna have to use a lot of the map because we have to use all of her money. So it's gonna wrap around something like. Oh, oh, negative money. Okay. Ah, so close! Oh, I got it! I got it! I oh, got it! Wait, 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 wait! Oh! For a second, I thought I might have picked, um... Fish or something, okay. The future awaits. After visiting the florist on the first floor of a hotel, this man can be found by the lift support- Ah, supporting. Sporting a massive bunch of roses and an agitated expression. He's planning to propose to his girlfriend, who's waiting for him on the 25th floor. To calm his nerves, he starts thinking about the lift he's about to take. If the lift takes 15 seconds to go from the first floor to the fifth floor, how many seconds will it take for him to reach the 25th floor? Hold on, one second. So we gotta get to the 25th floor. We're on the first floor. 15 seconds. It's so, let's see, to get to the fifth floor, we're already on the first floor. You go up four flights of stairs. Oh, sorry, we're not taking the stairs, taking the elevator. Uh, four floors for 15 seconds. So, to get to the 25th floor, you have to climb up 24 levels. And the first four levels take 15 seconds, so six times 15 is 90? 90? 90 seconds? Is it really that easy? Is it really that easy for me to solve this puzzle? Set him up and knock him down. You know what? Oh, I bet I, uh, I bet the version for the UK is different because in the UK they use floor zero, right? As the um first floor? I think it is. I I, I bet it's different. I don't know for sure, but I think it is. Oh, there's a- wait, oh, fuel's arrow, okay. Fuel's errand one. Go. Oh no, something's gone wrong with the Bostonius's engine. It seems the pipe that supplies it with fuel has shattered into little pieces. The emergency fuel supply will keep the airship afloat for a little while, but the broken pipe needs to be fixed before that supply runs out. Who has a secondary, um, uh, okay. Use the pieces of the pipe on the touchscreen to reconnect the engine to the fuel supply. Bear in mind that together, those pieces make up one long pipe. 
So you'll need to think link up every last one of them. Okay? Okay. Oh my. This is gonna take a while. I bet it curves down first. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> that was really easy! Let's shed some light on this one. But there is... Wait, what, what's, what's this one if called? I do say so myself. Fuel something? There's a second one that follows it. Yeah, fuels Aaron too. I'm sure that's gonna be a lot harder. Let's see, we're almost at 60, so we've got 16 more puzzles to go. Oh no, Sycamore's been a bit too creative in the engine room. And it's all gone horribly wrong. The pipe that supplies the engine with fuel has shattered into little pieces. The emergency fuel supply will keep the airship afloat for now, blah, blah, blah. Okay, same thing. Let's go. Excellent, if I do say so myself. Royal burden number 38, go, go, go. 15 puzzles to go. One of the jewels in my royal collection is so colossal and precious, I thought the only place for it would be upon my regal head. Alas, the blasted stones both so ludicrously large and horrendously heavy that it was now rendered my crown totally unwearable. I'll gladly give the piece of royal headwear to anyone who can accurately ascertain how many jewels it contains. Are you able to solve the king's challenge? Okay, gonna have stupid little tricks to it, huh? Okay. So it looks like there's three... three going down the... I don't even know what you call- what do you call the top part? The, I'll just call it the bridge, it's easier. Three going up the bridge, the green, purple, green. Then there's purples in between. So, there's 12 on the bridges. Plus four, so that's 16. Is it 17? It could be. Maybe it is 17 jewels. Right? Unless there's some sort of trick. Is there a trick? Three and four is twelve. One, two, three, four in between. One at the top. Okay, I think it's ready. You know, I think this may be it. No! Oh dear. Make sure you're counting the jewels correctly. <sighs> Okay. No, no. Let's read it again. It's so close and precious. I thought the only place would be upon my regal head. Unwearable. Uh, see. Okay. You know what it is? Here's the tricky part. Cause this crown currently is wearable, but. He has one jewel that's so massive, it is no longer wearable. Give this piece to me. It's gotta be inside. The entire inside is filled with a jewel, therefore he can't put it on his head. That's what it is. Stupid. Stupid. Is this gonna- Oh! Wait, wait, oh! Eight! It's eight! Oi! Hey! Let's shed some light on this one. Stupid. These kinds of Excellent. puzzles are dumb. If I do say so myself. Trying to mislead me with something. Yep, there it is. Okay. Strawberry. Time for dessert. You have a huge mound of strawberries to share between four children, A to D. 
You'd think it'd be easy, but each of these picky children is very specific about the number of strawberries they'd like. Kids these days. I want one fewer than B. I want three times what C gets. I want five fewer than blah, blah, blah. Bearing in mind that the plates hold up to nine strawberries. Can you dish out the fruit and satisfy all four children's demands? Hmm, hmm, so the total is nine. Nine total. Let me go back to the thing here. One fewer than B. A wants one fewer than B. Oh, hold on. B wants three times what C gets. Five fewer than A. Oh, sorry, A minus five. Okay, and... Half as many as A. Damn it, why did I put nine right there? One half A. And there are nine total... Let me see here. Uh, let's see, what if... C... Mm, what if B had nine total, then it'd be three. And if C was three... Oh wait, that doesn't help me at all, actually. Oh wait, yes it does. Okay, so three... That would mean eight. I mean, it's possible, it could be... It could be eight... Seven... Oh no, that doesn't work! Okay... What if it's two then, and it was six? What if B had six? If B had six, then... You would have seven. You would have two. You would have half of A, which is three and a half. You can't have three and a half, though, can you? I don't think so. Can you? No. Hmm. I think this makes the most sense, because A has to be even, because D is half of A, and since you can't have a strawberry, this one makes the most sense. Eight, nine, three, nine. Wait, 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 eight, nine, three, four. Eight, nine, three, four. Eight, nine, three, four. I'm fairly sure about this. <laughs> oh, I did it! Good, good job, your first puzzle. Whoo, so many to go. I don't think I'm gonna end up doing all the puzzles because there's so many to do. But I still feel obligated to do some, you know, because we, I've clearly been skipping a lot of puzzles if I've been playing the as I've been playing the game. So I'll, I'll probably stop after the next two or so, so that way we we would have done like 15 of them or something. These three squirrels are on their way home, picking up acorns along the way. The forest is dotted with clearings that contain piles of acorns, and every time a squirrel passes through one, it takes all the acorns it finds. The number of each clearing indicates how many acorns it contains. The three squirrels set off one after the other, starting from top. And by the time they each get home, they all have the same number of acorns. What? Three squirrels. Acorns. Every time a squirrel passes, takes all the ones it finds. Starting from the top. This is kind of confusing. Hmm. <laughs> this is going to be a tricky one. Because I'm willing to bet if you end up doing something like... Oh, hold on. Let me show you an example. Something like this? Yeah, they don't get the four because the first squirrel already took it. Okay, clear it up. Clear. Okay. So... This is going to be trial and error, all right. Ah, uh, if I ignore the five, 
I could end up with all three having 22. If I ignore the five and go straight. I've got it, I think. Because they never say you have to take all the acorns. Easy, easy, professor. That's pretty dirty. Shunting into slidings. Sidings, sorry. One of your rookie train drivers got confused about where to leave his train's rail cars at the end of his shift, so he just dumped them at the far side of the depot and went home. Wait, what did he do? Oh, wow, that's pretty messed up. You're fired. You'll have to pick up the slack and put them where they need to be, alongside the train on the top track. And with the rail cars in the exact same order, of course. Take control of the train engine and sort out this mess. Drag it... Da -da -da -da. The engine couples automatically to any rail car it touches. You can use the engine to pull or push coupled rail cars. Simply touch a rail car to uncouple it. Touch the lever at the bottom right to switch the orange junctions. Whoa, why is this so confusing? Okay, hold on, what? Okay, and we need the red one, right? Okay. We need the red one. One minute. Wait, how do I... Oh! Very interesting. Uncouple. Switch. Um... Wait, 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 Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Switch. Up. Click. Switch. Oh. Wait. Oh. Is it because I have the order wrong? Okay, hold on. I mean the um wait, hold on. How do I Done. You know, I think this may be it. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. Choo choo! And finally, the last one that I will get on screen a boatload of hassle. A boat builder has six orders for rowing boats, and each of them requires ten logs to build. Okay, six boats, ten logs, sixty logs. He goes to see the timber merchant and finds they have just the right amount of wood. However, he must buy it for... Wait. He must buy it four adjacent pallets at a time. And the pallets don't have a set number of logs. To make life even harder, the salesman has no idea how many logs one of the pallets has. Only that it doesn't have more than five. Is he an idiot? Help the builder by dividing the timber into six, four pallet loads, each having ten logs. Six, four pallet loads, each having ten logs. Okay, we've done this before. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Six... Four pallet loads, each having ten. So six ten log loads. <laughs> I'm gonna six ten log loads. I think it's gonna help me process it in my head, okay. Oh god, alright. So something like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, wait, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Something like that. Oh, four- right, right, there can only be four, so it'd be something like... Not that. 
something like... Like that, okay. That does it. The question mark doesn't actually make it a whole lot more difficult. As long as you group one together. That didn't make any sense what I just said, don't worry. Wood or that is just so bad. Wooderful. It turns out that the boats are going to be used in a floating market. The stall owners will be able to open up shop now thanks to you. And why don't we leave this here for now? So this, let's see. If I did things correctly, this will have only been, uh, this video would have just been puzzles. Meanwhile, this will now take me back into the episode where I left off at the checkpoint saying, I need to solve 35 puzzles. Huh. Okay, yeah, this is, hmm, all right. That's interesting, because it'll be like a video that leads into a second video, but it comes back to the first video. All right, so stay tuned for that one. Wait, is this coming out after the, the... Mmm, that's probably what's gonna happen. So that means if you've seen this, you've already watched the video where I need to solve 75 puzzles. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling, so stay tuned whatever, for whatever video's next, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!